Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be doing some tumblers using a laser engraver and I'm going to be working with the We Create Vision laser. This is an auto lifting 20 watt diode laser engraver and cutter. It has autofocus, high definition camera. You can do batching on this laser. You can actually preview your work surface before you start. It has a huge design library and rotary engraving, which is what we will be doing today. My favorite feature though of this machine is that it is enclosed and all of the fumes and smoke are vented through a hose to the outside. So this can actually be placed in your home, on a desk, in your workspace, craft room, or even your office. And also it has an amber laser protective top that allows you to view your work progress without the need for those large green laser glasses. So I will show you how to engrave these tumblers. You do need to download the software, which you just go to the link I'll show you on the screen. When you go to download the software, there will be a file that you can download for Lightburn, but I'm just gonna be downloading the regular We Create program, and that's what I'm gonna be using with this laser. You'll also need to create an account with an email address when you download the software. When you're first setting up your machine, you will need to connect to a PC with your USB. And from there, you can add your machine and also connect to Wi-Fi. After you have your Wi-Fi set up, then you will no longer need to use your USB cord to use your device. So here you can just go into Wi-Fi settings and connect here. When you turn your machine on, your bed will automatically raise up. And then from there, that will allow you to install the laser bed that actually comes with the machine. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and place my basswood to do a test project before we start. These are the tumblers that we're actually going to be using to engrave today. They came from Amazon and they have a removable handle and these are the 30 ounce tumblers. I'm going to measure the top and also the circumference around where I'm going to be engraving. This one is a little less than four inches and your machine will actually come with a measuring tape but I forgot to grab it. So I'm just taking this paper to get a measurement of the circumference where I will be engraving on this tumbler. The We Create Vision laser does come with a rotary chuck and also a stand to help support your tumbler. On the left side of your machine, down inside the laser, you will find two screws and the screwdriver that comes with the toolkit you can use to remove these screws. So I just took both of those out and here is where they were. Now this is where your rotary chuck is actually going to go. There's a metal tab on the underneath side of the chuck that's gonna help guide the placement when you go to install this. And it's just gonna sit down in that little hole. Now that I have it placed, I'm just gonna reinsert the screws and tighten those down. And that is all you need to do to install the chuck. Next, you want to plug in the rotary device to the actual laser. You just want to make sure the tabs are lined up on the plug-in when you are doing this. You also want to go ahead and remove the laser bed that you put in earlier and install the little stand. It just sits on the bottom of the laser bed. That's going to hold up the other end of your tumbler. Now I'm going to install my cup into the rotary. You just loosen or tighten it with this rotary chuck that comes with your machine. You also want to make sure and level your cup to get the best results. This rotary does support from one millimeter up to 100 millimeter size cups. So this is a pretty big tumbler. I think it will even support a 40 ounce tumbler as well. Now you want to open a new project in the We Create Make It software. You'll be able to view your laser bed because of the built-in camera. If not, you can click the refresh button 
to view it. And now you can see your whole tumbler. There's also an autofocus feature on this laser. You don't have to set your laser height manually. On these tumblers, it's not an issue because it automatically adjusts itself. But when you're doing things like cutting basswood, you click the autofocus and that automatically adjusts the height of your laser. I'm gonna change this to laser cylindrical because we are doing a tumbler. Now we're ready to drop in the file. You want a black PNG when you are engraving lasers, so make sure that whatever design you are dropping in here is black. Your laser will not read white PNGs, so just make sure it's black. And now we're gonna resize our design down to fit on the tumbler. You can also rotate your design. My tumbler is actually, up, actually upside down, but that's not gonna matter. Um, you're going to choose stainless steel tumbler you can choose from make its library of the stainless steel tumblers and that's where i actually started and you're also going to enter your diameter of your cup or the perimeter or the circumference either one is fine now i'm going to change the settings there is this box where um, you can select a preset setting for the look that you want you simply just click on the effect you want and it automatically puts your settings in there this makes it so easy if you're a beginner and don't know where to get started but i'm going to change my lines per inch to 200 and my power to 60 and i got the best results on this pink tumbler with a power of 60 and lines per inch at 200. now you're just going to click start and if you come up with a message that your size is off you can just click cancel and go with whatever size that your program has measured. So I'm just going to use this converter to go back into inches. And that's what I'm going to put back in my size. And that's going to give you a better result. But just make sure to, re to size your tumbler as best as you can. So now I'm going to click start again. And it's going to be ready to send to the laser. The we Create Vision laser can engrave up to a speed of 600 millimeters per second, which this is 250, so it can go over double that. But with these settings, only took minutes to complete this tumbler. Now before I take this tumbler out, I'm just going to rotate it around so that the back is now up and I'm going to put a logo the same way on the back. So I don't even have to take this tumbler out, just rotate it around and finish engraving it. Now you're going to notice this tumbler design is completely black and you're going to be thinking that it's destroyed and ruined and that's what I was thinking the first time. But I watched some YouTube videos and discovered that there is an easy solution if you go to the dollar store and pick up some totally awesome spray. It will completely remove all of the black marks left by your laser even on this pretty pastel pink. You can see how great that just removes all of that black laser burn mark. So don't worry if your design is black at first. This stuff takes all of that completely away. I am so super impressed with the results that I got on these tumblers using the WeCreate Vision laser engraver. It left a super crisp, clean image on my tumblers. I'm definitely gonna use this on more tumblers I can't wait to try this on some Stanley's and some other thing some other tumblers that I have down in my shop if you're interested in the we create I'm gonna leave a link for it down in the description thank you so much to recreate for sending me this laser to share with you guys I'm also gonna leave a link for these tumblers as well and we create is having a Valentine's sale on their laser engraver so definitely check that out if you have any questions about this machine you can leave them down in the comments so i will see you back again in my next one